Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Aliza Ayaz and I'm the United Nations Youth Ambassador for Sustainable Development Goals. Firstly, a very happy International Women's Day to all of you. We're celebrating International Women's Day in 2021 by recognizing women leaders' efforts to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic, by bringing together the different perspectives, the different experiences and skills to the table. And we're going to ensure that decisions policies and laws are responsive to the needs of all and that once inclusion of a diverse range of women from public and political decision making leads to laws policies public decisions budget allocations services and programs that fail to account adequately or even at all for women's experiences needs and rights the relative absence of women and minorities from public life also reinforces beliefs and expectations that there are less competent leaders, then dominant uh, leaders or dominant groups and do not belong in the public sphere. Consequently, individual and structural issues keep women's experiences and priorities out of public deliberation and problem solving, resulting in policies that do not account for all the people that they are intended to benefit. And you can see this in climate action, for example, which is a crisis that disproportionately affects women Yet, women's voices are most excluded from climate change discourse. We need the international community to emplace and support women's leadership through a number of initiatives. It could include commitment by governments to ensure women's full and effective participation and equal opportunities for leadership at all levels of decision making in political, economic and public life. We need to stick to the UN Security Resolution of 1325 on Women, Peace and Security, which reaffirms that women's role in conflict prevention and resolution, peace negotiations, peace building, as well as post-conflict reconstruction, stresses the need for their equal participation in all efforts to promote peace and security. We need to commit to state signatories that end all forms of discrimination against women, we need to include this in political and public spheres and to ensure that women face equal opportunities to represent their government and participate in the work of international organizations. Unfortunately, in Pakistan, gender inequality and women discrimination is seen commonly. However, only as a civil society, as an aware and conscious society, can we fight against these biases and allow our women to come out stronger and much more successful during this pandemic than any time else. Let's allow our nation to progress. Let's make this happen for our women, for our children, for our future generation, and for Pakistan. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me, Hasif Constancy. The Hasif Constancy is doing amazing work to promote women's rights and female empowerment, as well as youth empowerment. It's led some great initiatives, and I'm so excited to be part of this journey. Thank you for inviting me,